Welcome back to Nick Does Maths. Let's get straight into it, guys. What have I got for you today? Something a little bit lighter, as if anything I do is ever light, of course. Um, we are going to do some integration using a hyperbolic substitution. Are you scared yet? Don't be, super easy. Let's go. We want to show that the integral of x squared over square root x squared minus one is all of this gubbins. Where does our brain go? Where does our brain go? Right, we've been doing this for a while. I can see a square root x squared minus one. Now normally if it was a one minus x squared, I'd go trig substitution, but it's the wrong way around. That normally tells me hyperbolic. The question helps me out. Now in what way? If you're anything like me, you always, um, I like to go from scratch on this one. We know that cos squared minus shine squared x is one. Huh, okay, all right, all right, all right. So let's rearrange it to try and get something that looks like this. That tells me that cos squared x minus one is shine squared x. All right, all right, all right. So, tell you what, tell you what. That suggests to me that I might make a substitution from x to cosh of something, all right? So, we are gonna make this substitution x equals cosh u. And we should probably figure out our dx and du. Uh, dx over du is shine u. What I love about hyperbolic functions is I don't have to worry about minuses when you integrate or substitute. Cosh goes to shine, shine goes to cosh, back to shine, to cosh, to shine, to cosh. No minuses to keep track of. Glorious days. Right, let's plug that into here. What do we get? We get the integral of cosh squared u over. Now the whole point of this is that I end up with square root of cosh squared u minus one. Now dx becomes shine u du. All right, all right. Now, but what does that give me? Well, the whole point of this, being the experienced, clever, and devilishly handsome mathematicians that we are, I know that what I'm gonna do here is cosh squared u minus one is shine squared, Square rooted is shine u, du, glory of days, bosh, bosh. So we are left with, let's scooch over to here, the integral of cosh squared u, du. All right, now how do we tackle this? This is our goal right now. This is our new goal, we're shifting the goalpost. Much like with trig, we are going to use our identity for the double angle formula. Cosh of two u is two cosh squared u uh, minus one. All right, fairly standard. Um, which tells me I can do this integral as, with a little bit of rearrangement, I'll pick up a one half cosh to u plus one du. Wicked. We're getting there, we're getting there. What does that give me? One half, um, let's, let's be sneaky. Save a little bit of space, let's do the fractions in one go. This will give me, now I've got the one half, when I integrate cosh to u, I will get a shine to u, but chain rule, I'll pick up another divided by two. So this will be divided by four plus u over two plus some constant. Let's just check back in with what we're looking for. Um, arc cosh x, that will pop out from here. That's quite nice. Now I've got a shine to you. I need to get that back to x's. So a little bit of work still to come. Now shine to u, we can use our, again, uh, compound angle formulae, that will be two shine u cosh u. Okay, now we're getting excited. We've got this product appearing. And as discussed formally, we can rearrange shine u for cosh u. Now, two over four is a half. 
let's try and make it look like what we want. So we'll factorize out the half and we'll see where we go from there. I end up with a one half times shy nu is square root of cosh squared. Don't know why I put the squared there. That's silly. U minus one cosh u plus u plus k. Now all I have to do is resubstitute in uh, u for x. Cosh u is x. Cosh u is x. Now u, if x is cosh u, we know that u is the inverse cos of x. Um, we tend to write that actually, let's keep the same notation as here. We're going to write that as r cosh plus r cosh x plus k. Bom, bom, et voila. Are you not entertained? Right, a little bit lighter today. We're not going to go through the part B of this question. Keep that for a later date. I was Nick. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to click those buttons, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the good stuff so we can keep on this conversation uh, day in, day out. Catch you on the next time.